Yeah, mostly our father is is a gracious God. He's a gentle God. Mm -hmm. He's not the one to come and break or just it, like force things over us. Mm. I know he's sovereign, but he's also a loving God. Yes. So he gives us the he gives us the leeway to invite him. Mm. He says, "Call unto me, and I'll show you." Mm. He doesn't say, "I'll show you" without mm. you calling. He <laughs> says, "Call unto me, and then yeah. I'll do what I'll, I'll show, show you." you. So yeah. he he puts that invitation. Mm -hmm. He says, invite me mm -hmm. into your affairs and then mm -hmm. I'll come and, and deal with them. Mm -hmm. And then he says, um, also in his word, ask and mm -hmm. you shall receive. You yeah. don't just receive men mm -hmm. asking, you mm -hmm. have to ask. So we realize that prayer or asking mm -hmm. is, is a principle mm -hmm. that God works with. He's like, my children have to ask right. so that I enforce or I do what they want mm -hmm. made done for them. Wow, I really mm -hmm. love that. Okay, and if the will of God is already settled, and I, yeah. and I really like that, uh, you said that it is already settled, you know, he's not going to change his mind about it if yeah. it's in the word. Mm -hmm. But what happens when we pray and we get mm -hmm. into, you know, seasons of prayer, we pray and we don't, uh, we don't have an answer immediately? Yeah, mostly it, it, it goes with um, what people have been taught how to receive. Mm -hmm. Because we live in a carnal uh, world, mm -hmm. so we mostly move um, with um, carnal thinking. Mm -hmm. You want to use your senses. Mm -hmm. You're like, I prayed for a car, I'm mm -hmm. not seeing a car. Yeah. I prayed for a house, I'm not seeing a house. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says in, in Mark 11, 23 and 24, mm -hmm. that when you pray, mm -hmm. do what? Believe mm -hmm. that you do what? That you receive. Yes. And then when you receive, mm -hmm. you shall do what? You shall have it. 